Welcome to another IT Cognitive video. Uh, this video is a companion uh, video uh, for the itcoldesac.co.uk article uh, on installing and setting up uh, your new wireless uh, adapter for your computer. Uh, now we've installed the adapter into the computer and we're ready to uh, join our network. Now the adapter I've bought is this one here, it's the 300 megabits per second wireless end PCI adapter by TP-Link. Uh, comes with uh, a disk uh, with the drivers and other software on it and normally I'd recommend using this software however in this situation I'm going to tell you not to use it and particularly uh, if you're using a Windows 8 computer and uh, this particular wireless card. Um, the reason being I installed the drivers for this wireless card from the disk. Uh, part of that installation includes rebooting the computer. Uh, when the computer came back on, instead of loading up into my operating system, I got a blue screen uh, error. And then uh, uh, I eventually ended up having to use System Restore to get my computer back to something I could use. Um, Having done some research, it appears that the drivers for this particular wireless card by TP-Link are the cause of this problem. Uh, I even tried downloading the drivers off the website thinking there might be a newer version that they'd solved the problem on uh, and had exactly the same problem again. So don't use the drivers that come with the device itself. Uh, just let Windows auto-detect and Windows 8 did auto-detect uh, this network card perfectly fine and in Windows 8 all you have to do to join the network is click on your little network symbol at the bottom and you'll see a list of uh, networks that you can join uh, obviously one will be yours, the rest are my neighbours um, so this is Skynet, we disconnect from that so this is the state you'd be in, you've just installed the network card, you switched on and you should see that little symbol at the bottom there with no network access click on that it's, uh, charm bar will appear, click on the network you want to join, tick connect automatically, press connect and it will check the network requirements and connect. Obviously if there's a password uh, you'll be prompted to enter the password for your network as well at that point. And then you just connect, and that's all you have to do. So, once again, I recommend not using the uh, drivers for the device itself and just letting Windows use the default drivers it's come with, they seem to be much more reliable. And I've not had any connection issues uh, since I've done that. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.